Hey everyone, Papa Tom Nuki here. Welcome to One Piece Manga Chapter 964. No, <laughs> that, that's not right. Uh, 926, uh, The Prisoner Mine. Um, so yeah, I actually didn't hear that much about this because I was avoiding the Jamini's Box Discord this week. Just because of the fact that last week somebody uh, decided to spoil something and this to be safe this week. I wanted to avoid it at all costs. Uh, so, now that that's out of the way, uh, let's look at the cover page. And this one's actually interesting. It's um, Law, Chopper, and this tortoise. Let me see what it says for the uh, cover page request. Cover page request. Chopper and the law of studying medicine with a knowledgeable tortoise and crane. Pen name Order the Kanu. I thought that said Orochimaru for a second. So that's cool. It's like two of the doctors in the alliance. Um studying medicine probably to heal them when they get a body by the beast pirates. <laughs> Baby shake. Uh but yeah, that's gonna happen. Alright, so here we go. Wano Country, the flower capital. There's been another sighting. That ghost appeared again. I'll haunt you. There's an update on the disturbance in the northern cemetery. In other new Wait, what? I don't want to fly past that because it's probably very important. Orson Northern Cemetery. Is that where Odin Castle was? If it's near Odin Castle, then that could be a big deal. Um, but if it's not, then it's whatever. Um, in other news, a street murderer occurred on the 8th Street in District 2. Wait, is that Kinemon on the floor? What the fuck? As you probably know, the culprit is none other than Kamozu the Manslayer. Even though he is known throughout the country, he has yet to be appeared. And, uh... I thought it was like someone on uh, Oroshi's side, but uh, I'm wrong. But he has like a scythe in his hand, so that's cool. And I think it's Kinemon on the floor I'm beating up. I might be wrong though. Furthermore, appearing late into the night, the witching hour, appearing that the witching hour boy has returned. He steals money from the rich. And shares it with the poor. Who is this boy? Is he an ally? Ally of justice or evil? <laughs> Mr. Witching Hour. I'll take a copy. Here you go. Please come. Wait, is that Usopp in the... Yeah, that's Usopp in the back. Um. Okay. That's Usopp. The, that's probably one of the straw hats as well. Um. I can only think about Zoro. Because the, there's two swords right there. But Zoro doesn't keep his swords inside his pants. <laughs> so. Uh, Alright now. Come again and check it out. Today's issue is full of scoops. Wait a minute. That's one. Isn't that Odin's Crescent? Or a symbol? The Wanning Crescent Moon. Alright. It's, it's probably one of... Uh, the people they're looking for to recruit because uh this is probably a recruitment arc or act if you guys didn't know and you see Usopp smiling um there's a ton of people that got a wait a minute this really is a recruitment act holy shit ha has the Kazuki family truly returned Oh, it's, it's, this is going faster than I expected. Holy shit. So, it looks like Usopp just gave the Crescent Moon paper to about, I say five? No. Not five, like seven different people. My dude. <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. Hey, this already works on ghosts. What will come from questioning it? This is the spark we've been waiting for. I'm going. If this had happened a decade ago, I would be going too. But in any case, 
How are you to get weapons? Only samurai are allowed to carry swords in this country. And Orochi has even gone as far as forbidding the use of weapons in the kendo and kuro- Whoa, whoa, okay. That's kind of a big deal. Because dojo's already practiced karate and uh, kendo. So that's kind of a big deal. He should remove the power of source to any possible rebellion. I don't care if I had to fight bare hands. This is our last fight. This is what I've been waiting for. I'm trembling in excitement. If you've got time, come and have a look. Sit down, relax, and listen closely. And Usopp's holding a, a sword. And you're, he has like a toad oil station. Or he uh, sells fake toad oil, I think. From like the first one introduction. What, what's he going to sell this time? Uh, never mind me, this junk cut. No, I don't think we need to bring in a geisha. Is this Orochi? Do not let anyone in. Approach the sitting room. Do not let anyone approach the sitting room. Understood. Here in the armament shipment. Oh, whoa, armament. Or ornament. I forget how you say armament hockey. Um, but you're quite the evil one. Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> you think so? Oh, this is a lot of stuff. Are they planning to start a war? I'm not familiar with the situation outside of the country's borders. Oh, and Nami and, uh, the one that's not a snack are, uh, what are we just looking inside at eavesdropping? That's smart. Our job is to make what they ask for. You're quite an evil one. <laughs> you think so? Watch carefully, Onami. My eyesight has gotten worse of age. Don't sweat the small stuff. Just keep an eye on it calmly. Of course, but what? That guy's head is in the way. <laughs> That's with a lot of people. Did they really get noticed? <laughs> oh my god, the accent. Okay, yeah, this is Nami's first time being a ninja, so I guess it makes sense. Hmm, someone's up there who was in the stabs it. Namis, Nobis Kinochi. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right. Oh, Nami. Um, you're being too loud. Sentinel Baruchan. <laughs> who was it? Stay quiet. Oh, yeah, Nami has to cover her face. We're only halfway through the chapter, my guys. Whoa. This is a long chapter, but then, then again, all chapters are usually long besides uh, My Hero. Uh, but it's understandable. Um, get them. There are intruders in the act. What? It was a cat? <laughs> it's a person and a cat. Ninjas are giant glider. So she just made it like a hand glider. Oh, that's awesome. Where did they go? I can't. We can't find them. All right. Now, the smart thing to do would be to tell one of the headmasters that somebody snuck in with eavesdropping. But, they won't. <laughs> do you see anything, Onami? Um, I saw the name of the port in the day and the ship leaving. That's great. Now we know when and where the ship will be, or the weapons will be collected. Well, that's smart. Oh. So now they know where to grab their weapons. That's good. By the way, I forgot to mention this, Anami, but I have a huge fear of sharp objects. You're totally unfit for battle. But being an attractive older woman is also a weapon in itself. Welcome, welcome. Uh, why is this line so long? Is there a sale going on? No way. Sangoros, nachi soba noodles, really are a specialty. Wait. Sangor. I thought Sanji is the. I saw the word S I N G and then noodles, and I'm like, okay. What could. Oh my god, the Sanji, holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. What could the luster of these noodles. 
the bite of the firm bite it's for food wars now uh niachi soba is literally 2.8 soba meaning two portions of pond flour and eight portions for soba flour uh, i probably said that wrong all right come up and have a taste the lady oh, okay so he's trying to get some girls to come in um these are my special soba noodles soba noodle stall song sangoro um that boy does he have any idea who this island oh he's gonna get in a fight probably wano country udon the prisoner okay here we go we're gonna see luffy and kid probably <laughs> i hope and whoever that last person is beat the metal move the rocks as well as the weapons factory it won't it won't work if you go dying in a corner somewhere so don't block the way and he just literally killed that guy um and they're wheezing and he gets one egg for a day's of work or that's probably a, a rice ball because it's the mono You get one piece of Kibi Dango for moving. That's why they wanted Tama. Okay. That makes so much sense now. They wanted Tama to get food for the prisoners. Because if she had a massive amount of food, no, they wouldn't. They, they'd make the prisoners starve still. Um, but. Are you having trouble earning enough food? You're getting old, Grandpa, haven't you? You're finally about to kick the bucket and he just, like, hits him. Uh, talking about to a guard comes with punishment of amputation. Don't you know that, don't you? Grandpa, you... Don't go against them. Just preserve your strength. Otherwise, you'll die. Next, oh, four exchange coupons. Good work. Here's four Kibidongos. Four... Wow, it's actually a decent amount. Oh, and you see Luffy and Kid just carrying it. Uh, I didn't know Kid was that strong, but maybe he's using his double fruit to carry that. Because that could be metal. And they're literally just clanking back and forth. Move, move, move. You're in the way I'll kill you if you don't move. <laughs> and <laughs> they're just racing to the finish. Wait, wait, this ship can't hold any more Oh, there were rocks. Why are rocks in squares? <laughs> that makes no sense. Uh, then hurry up and bring another ship, you snails. I'm sorry. How many rocks have been carried? Have they carried so far? We counted up to five. Oh, okay. It's like a game. <laughs> What about the sea stone cuff? They're still shackled in them. They're able to do this with all their power depleted. What would they be able to do without those shackles? Even kid, I guess I slept on kid a little bit. Actually, now that I think about it. But uh, yeah, kid might be stronger than I thought he was. We moved the rocks. Now hand over the food. And they're like slamming at the desk. Look how much food they got. <laughs> so much for uh, making them suffer. There, there's no way they're going to suffer with that amount of food. It's like it's doing their work and then getting paid. I moved one more than you did, you baka. I'm the one that pulled ahead of you. How many more did you get so much kibidongo? Wait, how many did they move to get so much kibidongo? Okay, yes, sir. They're pissed that they got so much Kibidanga. Captain of the Kid Pirates. Eustace Captain Kid. Don't mess with me. You didn't pull ahead of me at all. Jack Kid Guy, you bastard. Do you know how to count, you dumb monk? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I, I love the rivalry between Kid and Luffy. He hasn't left since Saba Odi. Some more of the how he calls Trug of Trafalgar, Trugai. He's likely referring to how his hair is jagged. Oh, that's genius. Uh, 
those who were seriously injured, yeah, they're seriously injured. They've been working, eating, and then sleeping, and with all that, they healed them in just a few days. What twist their bodies? How the hell are they supposed to break their spirits? Say something. Yeah, they kind of just gave them so much food that they're not going to break their spirit. And Luffy has gum gum fruit, so like he can get healed even faster. And he's resistant to poison, besides the poison fish. Um, fu fully chew your food before you swallow. Are you their mother? Whoa. Which one of you prisoners cleared out all the rations we had in storage? Oh, no. Is that a hippo? Hippo smile user. Okay. Um, Master the Bond is here with his fusion with the hippo. is so weird. Grandpa Heo. Oh, he's crushing Grandpa Heo. Oh. He's ate the guy. Um. Don't you dare ignore my or <laughs> to sleep. The hippo decided to close his mouth on a whim, so now we can't hear the master Dobon anymore. Wait, isn't he eating his master in like the grandpa guy? I mean, he probably can still survive, but still it's kinda gruesome. But Master Dobon, they earned they earned their food. They worked hard and exchanged their food we worked for food. So we couldn't get them from Wait, they worked hard and exchanged their work for food so we couldn't stop them from getting it. He's trying to say something inside there. I brought the prisoners you were looking for. <laughs> Give me a second. I need to digest this food. <laughs> they ate way too much. Yeah, they had like probably a hundred kibidangos easily. <laughs> look, look at fat kid. <laughs> That's going to be my new profile picture probably on Twitter. I've never seen someone have a bloated stomach in here. I'm so jealous. And Fat Luffy is like looking at him. So it was you two. How dare you. Your gluttony is why a man is known as a big eater. Was known as... Wait. I'm messing up so much. A man known as... A big eater was only able to get three kibidangos. Look at his mouth. Does that seem like enough food? <laughs> Those guys are shrinking in. Oh, it's talking about Luffy and Kid. Yeah, because Luffy and Kid was late. The more. <laughs> yeah, they really were shrinking in size. Here's a word of warning for you two. If you try and fight back against the guard, your arms will be cut off the first time. Wait, speaking of that. Yeah, Kid still has his other arm, doesn't he? Oh, Oda, stop teasing us. Uh, your arms will be cut off the first time you do it. And your arms will be cut off if you do it again. And the third time you do it will be your last. You'll be executed on the spot. Keep that in mind. You don't have the right... That's how it works here. You don't have the right to fight back. That's kind of stupid. Uh, but then again, they're pirates. Um, hey, we're just weaklings whose strength hasn't been depleted because of these sea stones. All we did was take our work seriously. And Luffy's looking at the grandpa beat up and probably getting extremely pissed off because of uh, how much he cares about Wano. Your crime is eating all my food. <laughs> you need to be dis- Did they just go in his mouth? What a shame inside that mouth is Master Debon's murder chamber. But if they, uh, probably won't happen. But if Luffy and, uh, Kid just, like, put their sea stone cuffs, like, right against the hippo, maybe they will calm it down. It just won't work anymore. Hippo. Did they one shot it? <laughs> they fucking one shot it. Huh? Deputy... He was the deputy warden? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. They're screwed. They're screwed. Now you've done it. You're going to be executed. Where's your proof? Way to go. You two are the prisoners. 
Stars of Hope. Um, I'm going to go back for a second. Because... Where, where, where was that thing of the prisoner? Yeah, there it is. Um, yeah. So you see this guy in the cage. Um, they're still teasing that. And then uh, the next panel, she's somebody very familiar. <laughs> so, um, what, why am I missing his name? Uh, Karibu. Um, so like, what the what? Oh, Karibu's here. I knew. So if you guys didn't know, I was an anime only until um, the wedding segment of Whole Cake Island. So I had no idea about the cover story with uh, Karabu being captured by Kaido and everything like that. So now that Kaido is a prisoner here, <laughs> um, that's, that's, so isn't Kaido or Karabu is not the prisoner um, in the cage. He shouldn't be because he's fodder. But Roger had this theory um, that Karabu could tell Kaido about. Getting it. Shira Hoshi's uh hidden power. Um, I'm just like all over the place today. But yeah, that was my reaction to the uh the chapter. Uh review coming uh shortly. Um then my hero reaction coming later once that comes out, but I will see you guys later. Goodbye.